U.S. intelligence officials say they believe the suspected Chinese spy balloon is part of an extensive surveillance program from China's military. Yeah, officials say the surveillance program is in part run out of the small Chinese province of Henan. The U.S. does not know the exact size of the fleet of Chinese surveillance balloons, though. But sources say the program has conducted at least two dozen missions over at least five continents in recent years. One senior U.S. official says China relies on people mistaking their alleged spy balloons for weather balloons. Dozens of real weather balloons are sent up twice a day from weather service stations around the United States. And I turned to the National Weather Service in Indianapolis and our very own Todd Clausen to find out how many balloons go up, when, and what we learned from them. The balloons go up twice a day. They're launched from the National Weather Service offices. Uh, they're small. They're nothing like the, the one that's been in the, the news. Across the country, roughly 90 balloons launched just before 6 in the morning and again just before 6 in the evening, according to meteorologist Ted Funk at the National Weather Service. The wind carries the small aircraft and the balloon expands as it rises. It has instrumentation on, us, on it that gives us temperature, uh, humidity, uh, pressure, wind direction, wind speed things of that nature. The Weather Service in Indianapolis does not launch balloons, but the closest stations that do are just north of Cincinnati and near Springfield, Illinois. And these balloons are in the air for maybe a couple hours. Essentially, they get to a certain height, usually probably right around 60,000 feet, and then they just pop. And then the radio sound, which is collecting the data, slowly falls back down to earth with a little parachute on it. Meteorologist Todd Clausen says those weather data collection balloons only travel short distances, not spanning several states. These balloons don't travel thousands of miles. They go, they pop, and they may end up landing 50 to 100 miles away from where they were launched. Well, Todd also tells me the data from the balloons are especially helpful when forecasting severe weather and deciphering whether we get snowfall or freezing rain during winter storms there. That was really interesting. I hope I'm not the only one that really didn't know about weather balloons and you all learned something as well. Right, and, and, and especially about how far they travel. Yeah, I had Very no idea. short distances, not across the continent. <laughs> yeah.